Fun fact, black isn't even considered the colour. The more you know. Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. This week we're doing something different. I'm saying that all the time, but this week it's honestly something different. Because a few videos ago I got a comment by this lovely person, Haya or here or sorry if I'm mispronouncing anything. And she asked me to do an all black lookbook. And I thought that's a really great idea and I'm really honoured that you coming to me with this request. But saying that, my style is pretty much the complete opposite of all black. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I really, really liked your idea, um, and I kind of saw it as a challenge because it's the complete opposite of me, basically. I, When I dress, I like to express myself through colour and patterns and stuff like that, so I'm not the biggest fan of all black, but maybe I should try it and maybe I'll get some inspiration from wearing all black outfits. So with this video, I'm not only challenging myself, but I'm also challenging you guys. So if your style is as colourful as mine, try and wear all black for a few days, see what happens. Happens. See what outfits you can come up with, see if it inspires you, see what people say. Maybe people are worried about you because you never wear all black and now you're wearing all black and they think someone died or something. Um, yeah, that got dark real quick. And if your style is already all black, try and wear no black items at all for a few days and see what happens. Maybe people think you're going mad because you never wear any colour. <laughs> But no, I'd love you guys to participate in this challenge and just wear the opposite of what you usually wear for a few days and see what happens. I don't really have a name for this challenge yet, but if you do, why not leave it in comments down below and we'll get a hashtag going or something. I mean, that could be cool. Uh, YouTube loves challenges. And if you guys have ideas or requests for videos like Hiya did, leave them in the comments down below. I read all the comments and if your idea is good enough, I'll make a video about it. Wow, that sounds really pretty pretentious. So let's inspire each other and do the all black slash no black challenge. That's a stupid name. Anyway, let's let's do it. Let's get into the video. So these are all the black items I currently own. Honestly more than I thought I'd own. But that's good. That means we've got some choice and not three outfits that look exactly the same. So I've compiled three different outfits. I'm just going to quickly talk about them and tell you what I was going for and then show them to you. You know the deal. It's always like that. I don't have to explain a lookbook, do I? Anyway, <laughs> so the thing with an all black look is that if you're wearing only black items that are made from roughly the same material, your outfit can look real bland real quick. So with this first look, I'm trying to switch up the materials of the items a little bit to make the look a little bit more interesting. So starting from the top down, I'm wearing a plain black Beachfield beanie. Nothing special. It has got this nice knitted really texture to it. With that, I'm wearing my black Wiley t-shirt. I kind of try to loosen this fit up with a little print. I mean, that's allowed, isn't it? Um, I chose items that are basically black, but they can have prints or something else. I wouldn't be able to do this challenge. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I tucked the t-shirt into my black carpenter's jeans from Top Man. I spoke about them in my recent pickups. Um, these jeans do have white seams, um, which I think helps to lighten up the heaviness of the black a little bit. And with that, I'm wearing a black velour tracksuit jacket from ASOS. It has got this nice velvety, um, shiny look and feel to it. And I rounded off this look with some black mono boots by Dot Martens. I'm really pleased with this first look. It's kind of, it has got vintage vibes to it. I think the items really complement each other. And by tucking the t-shirt in and rolling up the trousers a little bit, it kind of gives me a shape because you can see where all my body parts start and end. It's not too baggy, it's not too tight, and it's also kind of interesting. I'm, I'm quite surprised. I thought, oh, these black looks will be a little bit boring. They are not. I really like this look and maybe I'll wear it more often. But don't listen to me, see for yourselves. So look number two, we're going for different style and this time I'm not only trying to mix different fabrics but also different cuts. And so we've got a little bit more variation going on and I'm also going to throw in a few prints to mix it up a little bit. So start from top down, I'm wearing a t-shirt from Ikea. Yes, it's from Ikea. They had and have got a few collaborations with designers going on and this is one t-shirt they did. Yeah, it, I like it, it looks good and it was only seven quid so really nice Ikea. You're not only good at making furniture, you can also make clothing. 
I like you. And with that, I'm wearing a black neoprene jacket from Zara, which I modified a little bit because I not only bought a t-shirt from Ikea with that print, I also bought an apron with the same print. And I just cut it out and sewed it onto the back of the jacket. And I think the kind of cotton material and the texture of the print really complements the neoprene. Moving on, I'm wearing some sweatpants by Sew It 69. They're made from polyester, so they're a little bit more shiny and also they're slim fit. So they complement the oversized jacket really well. And also they've got a print on the side of the leg. It's like a chain print. And that print works really well with the print of the t-shirt and the jacket because it's kind of the same style. And to round this outfit off, I'm wearing some Insta Pump Furies by Reebok. I just love these shoes. They're very comfortable and they've got a very futuristic look to them. I'm also wearing some black socks and I've tucked my sweatpants into the socks to kind of highlight the shoes a little bit more. And yeah, I feel like this outfit works because the shoes and the trousers are fairly slim and the t-shirt and the jacket are a little bit more oversized. So it's a nice contrast. And again, the materials complement each other and the prints work really well together. So all in all, I'm very pleased with this outfit as well. And again, don't listen to me. Here's what it looks like on. So onto the last outfit, outfit number three. This is more of a lazy kind of, I don't want to dress up outfit. I've tried to keep it simple here. Again, trying to play with shapes and fits of the clothing items. Starting from top again, it's just a plain black t-shirt from Asus. It's a little bit oversized, really nothing more to it. It's just a black t-shirt. And with the t-shirt, I'm wearing my black DIY kind of bum slash shoulder bag because I feel like it kind of gives the t-shirt a little bit more character and kind of matches the jacket because for a jacket I'm wearing my black oversized bomber jacket yeah again nothing more to it I think it works really well with the t-shirt because it has got orange lining so it has got a little pop of color maybe that's cheating because I technically use color in this outfit but I mean it's just how these bomber jackets work they've got colorful lining and for bottoms I'm wearing the classic adidas track pants they're just black they've got three white stripes on the side nothing more to them as i said this outfit is very simple yet very cozy kind of like a i don't want to dress up look so i can't really say much about the items so sorry about that and i rounded off this look with some black mono boots by dot martens i also like this outfit but i think i'd wear a colorful t-shirt with it when i would style it myself but for the sake of this all black lookbook it's just a black t-shirt so i feel like this outfit works really well because i feel like the boots together with the jacket and the kind of bum bag have got a military feel to it yet the t-shirt and the track pants are more kind of street style and i think these kind of styles really complement each other so i think this outfit works really well again here's what it looks like on So that's all I have for you today, guys. These were three all black looks, and I have to say it was a challenge for me. I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, I'm surprised at how much I enjoy these looks. The first two looks I really do like, and I'm considering wearing them a little bit more often. The last look was a little bit too blunt for me. I'd personally style it with a little bit more color. But anyway, I'd say I really got inspired by this challenge, and I would advise you to do it as well. As I said, when your style is colorful, try and wear all black for a few days. And if your style is all black, try and wear no black items for a few days see what happens i'm sure you get inspired and you'll be amazed trust me and i love to see your results tag me or message me and as i said if you have got video ideas or requests leave them in the comments down below anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope i inspired you with this video if i did so why not give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because i make new videos every week that's it from me for now and i'll see you later bye